Welcome at Wageningen University. Here in this building we host the Netherlands Center for Luminescence Dating and in this short video I will explain what luminescence dating is, show you the facility of the luminescence dating lab and show you what we do there. Let me take you inside. The luminescence lab is based in uh, the basement because we don't need any light. In fact, it's a dark room environment so I have to enter through a special door. Luminescence dating determines the last exposure to light of sand grains. So we have to treat these grains in a dark room environment to prevent them from losing their signal. The luminescence signal in sand grains builds up uh, under the influence of natural radioactivity and its bleach is reset due to sunlight exposure. Now I've got some sand here which thinks it's very old because we irradiated it with a very large dose. And therefore I can show you the luminescence on this hot plate. If I sprinkle a bit on it, then it will illuminate. Let us try. Now we have to do that again in the absolute darkness so you can actually see it. Using this luminescence signal we can date when sediments were deposited somewhere. So for instance the age of dunes or river sediments. And to do that we first need a sample of course. And we get it normally in a tube like this, hammered into an exposure. In the lab we split this sample in uh, a sample that was light exposed from the outer ends of the tube and a sample that never saw the light from the inside of the tube. The outer ends we use to uh, measure how uh, radioactive the environment is. And we do that by mixing some of the sediment with wax, making a puck like this and measuring uh, the radioactivity, so the natural radioactivity directly. The other part from the inside of the tube we have to um, get pure quartz or feldspar grains from. And therefore we use this lab to, to sift the sample and uh, prepare it chemically to, to get these uh, pure quartz or feldspar grains. As a final step, Anna is loading the quartz grains onto small measurement disks. With this machine we measure the luminescence signal. It has a very light sensitive detector which measures the luminescence signal from the grains and it allows us to charge the signal using a beta source, or the radioactive source. It does in one second what happens in nature in 100 years. My research is all about luminescence tracing. I'm using novel luminescence techniques to study the dispersion of nourishment scent. By looking at different luminescence signals, I want to differentiate between nourished and native scent grains in the water sea. I'm using the newest uh, NCL2 to do this. This is an EMCCD camera, which is very exciting because it can image luminescence signals. We use this laboratory to develop and improve new and better luminescence dating techniques, uh, to apply luminescence dating for uh, our own uh, investigations, to study landscape dynamics and human landscape interactions and also to provide a dating service for NCL partners and other customers. <laughs>